uh, hello and uh, welcome everyone in this video we are going to talk about the object proto and the function prototype so we create a function something like this right and uh, whenever we need to create an object either we uh, just create using constructor function so this is how we are creating the object of the function otherwise we can uh, create uh, the object using object literal or create an object using uh, the new object because object is also a function and uh, so let's talk about what is this proto property and what is this prototype function has a prototype and object has this proto property how they are linked with each other okay so consider uh, we have the object function object function we already talked about so the prototype of the object function is represented by the constructor function right you can see here now if you talk about the constructor here that is pointing to the object of the object function right uh, i'm talking about capital o object object dot prototype which is a function so object dot prototype has a lot of things you can see it has all these methods now if i talk consider uh, particularly about the constructor what is this constructor this is the same constructor which we are using uh, while creating something like this so it is the same thing it is creating us the object right so this is constructor is representing the object of the function now let's create a function hello here what this object is uh, representing let's take a look obj this is the object created by constructor function of that fun uh, function hello so the proto this this is an object right hello is an object sorry uh, hello is uh, okay object uh, i print the object right so this is the object of the hello function okay and the proto has these two properties constructor and the proto so the constructor of this object is pointing to the hello function and again further the proto will point to the capital o object because capital o object is the parent of everything so dot proto dot proto it will finally point to the capital o object so here if you see what i'm doing here uh, object dot proto so it is giving me the constructor function right now again if i do proto it will give me the parent object function if you talk about parent object function right so the first time when i did a proto it has given me the 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 parent function which is a hello function right if i do again the underscore underscore proto it is giving me the capital o object okay so this is the proto chain i am running similarly if you talk about hello dot prototype it is giving me the constructor function hello function i again call the the prototype on this so this prototype is giving me the constructor function right we can uh, so this is this function this function again have the proto and constructor so let's uh, talk about constructor right now this constructor function is representing the, the object right so let's talk about this chain in the diagram okay so either you do something like this or you create so now if you talk about console dot dir or where is the y proto is pointing underscore underscore proto it is pointing to the object right the other uh, parent or object function similarly whenever you create uh, the object of a function like hello function we had right 
this object proto will point to the prototype of this hollow functions then again whenever you do further proto it is pointing to the 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 object function okay this can be well understand by the this diagram this diagram explains everything so here we will we will talk about the chaining okay so consider i have a capital o object function so this is the object prototype and the constructor of the object prototype is representing the function this is always true right whenever we do the object dot prototype we get object prototype and whenever we do the dot constructor it gives us the object function okay now this is the object function it actually whenever you do the object function dot underscore underscore proto it is going to give you the prototype of the capital f function okay so let's uh, do this first let's understand this example i will talk about the third case so this is the who is a function i created f1 and f2 these are the function object constructor function object of f1 f2 whenever you do the f1 underscore underscore photo it will take you to the prototype of that function function dot prototype again when you the when you do the underscore underscore photo it will take you to the capital o object prototype whose proto is going to be null so every proto chain recursively trace back until the proto becomes null proto is pointing to the function prototype again proto is pointing to the object prototype object prototype proto is pointing to the null okay so here same we are doing with the object so we created a two object from the object function so these are the two constructor object this proto is directly pointing to the object prototype and you do again proto it will take you to the null right because you directly created the object directly from the capital or object function instead of foo function if we talk about this capital or object right so this x is representing an object right and the proto of this object will represent the the prototype of the object function okay now if you just uh, talk about the proto it is representing the prototype of capital o object function again you do underscore underscore proto it will give you null right because you have reached to the the last point okay similarly we created the the hello function object this is the hello function and if you do object dot the this is the object right so i can do a plot on this so first it will point to the the hello function prototype right now again if you do the underscore underscore proto it will represent object function prototype and when you whenever you do again underscore underscore proto it will take you to the null this is how the things works in javascript okay so the proto is pointing to the the prototype of the function and if you keep doing a proto it will take you to the object capital or object functions proto and it will be a null finally okay so these two cases are clear either we create a object or a function using new keyword or either we create a object of capital or object function using using new keyword its proto will point to the object its proto will point to first function prototype then it will again point to the object prototype now there is a capital f function also that we haven't explored yet so this is already there and you can do a type of it's a function right so you can create the new object from this also so if you do x it is an object it's a anonymous function you can see so say, so it's not an object it is a anonymous function is being represented right so if you do 
console dot dir and try to get what is this x x is anonymous function whose prototype is represented by anonymous function or proto is presented by the capital o object that that is the only difference so function proto this function function proto will point to the function prototype and its proto will point to the object prototype and its proto again point to the null it's very important so when you do object function proto it points to the capital f function prototype okay so we will talk about this in the details when we talk about the prototype in depth till now we have covered only about the proto in the objects okay this is all about this video next we will talk about the scope and uh, little more things which are left in the basics then we will start intermediate